Hello my friends! Today we are using the Stamps of Life products. I have the set called Hexagons to Love and the Coordinating Die Set. So for a full product review of the Stamps of Life, head over to my blog, madebyejp.com, and you'll hear a little podcast of my review, and you'll see my little pros and cons list, as well as my overall rating for the Stamps of Life. I truly love their product line, so go check out my, my review and see what you think. Um, today, I only use the dies in my card, but later in the video, I do show you a fun technique using the stamp set, so please stay tuned to the end. So thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! To begin, we're going to start with the middle-sized hexagon die. We're going to die cut from this pattern paper, which is from my mind's eye, and is called the Remarkable Set. So I just cut seven of these hexagons, and I want to show you my Xyron sticker maker just to show you how it works. You take your die cut and you place it face up into this little cavity, and it just slides down, and then you just gently pull on this tab to the left, and basically it's going to grab your die cut, and it's sandwiching between the adhesive and that plastic film. And now you just rub on that plastic film just to remove the excess adhesive. You peel away the plastic film, and then what's left behind is your designer paper with the adhesive to the back. So now this gives us a nice sticker, and it gives an even adhesive coverage to the back of these hexagons so that it will lay flat. So now I can simply lay them down as a sticker, and they will stay put. And so I'm just taking these patterns, and I'm just going to create my flower pattern out of these hexagons, as you can see here. And I'm just adhering these to some scratch designer paper that I had, the back side. And then I'm just cutting it out. And I have my crumb cake um, cardstock. And this is still some of that same designer paper. I just cut it into a stem shape. And same with this little leaf. I just freehand cut that from the designer paper. I just trimmed off the excess there that was hanging out. And now this is my sentiment from Hero Arts. And I'm combining this word sending and then the small words here, you sunshine. I just simply cut my clear stamps and then I'm stamping it in not quite navy ink and there's my custom sentiment there. And now I'm going to take an oldie but a goodie of um, my paper piercing mat. This is from Stampin' Up! and my trusty little push pin and I'm just going to pierce holes all the way around the perimeter of this cardstock just to give it that handmade touch and feel to go along with that quilt look. So here is our piece completely pierced around the edge and then I'm just going to simply adhere this to my white card base. And this completes our card using the hexagon dies from the Stamps of Life. Very simple and very easy to do. And now for the stamping technique. I just stamped that solid hexagon in multiple colors here to make this flower pattern. And here I'm going to show you how to use the outline stamp like you typically would with two-step stamping. You would take a darker color, here I'm using black, and you would just stamp atop your solid image. And I'm a little off here because I'm at an angle due to the camera, but um, here you get the idea of how it can look. But here's the fun technique I like to do with two-step stamping. Instead of using a darker ink, I'm using Versamark ink and I just chose this flower stamped image and now I embossed it with white embossing powder. Now isn't that pretty? It's a unique look you can get with two-step stamping. And so here I have another one that I just used silver powder as well. So I hope that gives you some ideas of a different way you can use your two-step stamping images that you can get from the Stamps of Life. And here let me show you the set again so you can see all these different patterns that you can stamp atop of the solid and you can emboss them and you can get some unique images. So I hope I've inspired you to try out the Stamps of Life and their two-step stamping and their dies. Head over to my blog if you haven't already to hear my full product review of the Stamps of Life. Thanks for joining me today. Bye! 
please click here to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all your support. And if you haven't already, click here to watch my last video where I'm giving away these cute stickers, a notebook, and some felt and dimensional stickers. There's plenty of time to enter, so please stop on by. Thanks!